Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deach here, and I'm coming to you from Kenner, Louisiana, at the Esplanade Mall, because supposedly there's a movie filming here that I want to check out. Let's go inside. Opened in 1983, the Esplanade Mall used to be the place to go for shopping in the Kinner area. Unfortunately, these days it's not as busy as it once was. Still pretty nice on the inside, though. It's not dirty. Doesn't look run down too much. But it's just very, very empty. Hardly anybody walking around in here and this time of day there should be people shopping but there's not make my way over to the food court here to see what eateries are open it doesn't look like many back this way you can see what used to be a Sabaro pizza place but it looks like Sabaro is no more here and I don't think anybody will be tasting anything together at this place anytime soon Even the tables and chairs are still here, but nobody behind the counter, nobody cooking pizza, nobody using the pizza ovens. I like Sabaro. It's a little on the greasy side, but they always had a good slice of pizza. Next to it looks like this bubble tea place, the Tea Time Cafe, but again, it's empty, just the menu seems to remain on the wall back there. Next to that is this Po' Boy Seafood Place. Doesn't look very active. Even the back room area back there looks pretty empty. I don't see any food back there. The Grill Daddy says it's coming soon, but I'm curious if that's recent or if it was coming soon and maybe they just changed their mind since all the other eateries have closed. The Game Shack here is the Mall Arcade but it's closed. Everything's on on the inside maybe they're just not open at the moment. I can see somebody in there working on one of the games so still active store. I believe this used to be a Chick-fil-A at one point changed hands a few times and has since closed down whatever it was last. The menu has been taken down. Nobody behind the counters. Oh look here's a sign. What does that say? Sam Seafood Grill. Now open. I don't believe this was open for very long. In keeping with the times the mall has evolved a little bit added a charging station so you can charge your phones, iPads, whatnot, but it's not in use. The escalator here seems to be out of order. Nobody going down on this side. One of the things I like about this mall is the glass elevator. It's only two floors, but still, I remember coming here when I was a kid and riding this elevator, and it was the highlight of the trip look out the window as you descend or ascend depending on which floor you're going to now, there used to be a fountain right on the other side of the elevator here but I I think they filled it in let's go take a look and see I don't think the fountain yeah it's been filled in no more fountain. Oh look, you can still see where the water would come out of that lion face there and fill up into that little bowl and all the tiles that you see here, that was actually where the fountain was and you could throw coins in and whatnot. The side of the wall used to have a jewelry store sign here, but it's no more. Actually, it looks like it moved to a different location in the mall. 
there's still a few stores open here. A few people walking around shopping. So it's not completely dead just yet. Another store called Spotlight for Less. Looks like it's either been emptied out or it's making its way here, but I can't imagine new stores opening up in here. Some old children's playthings. It's a little outdated, but I'm sure kids still have fun hopping on these for a quarter and moving around a little bit. This used to be a Hot Topic, and I guess Hot Topic decided this mall wasn't good enough anymore for them, and they've emptied their store. Just the empty shell of what used to be a very popular place of business is now gone. Jay and Silent Bob reboot and is just up ahead. Now if you're not aware of Jay and Silent Bob movies or Kevin Smith movies, there's a character that started in the movie Mallrats named Brody and ultimately he opened up a comic book shop and they've recreated the comic book shop here called Brody's Secret Stash for the new Jay and Silent Bob reboot movie. see this statue of Captain America in the window of Brody's secret stash. Mm -hmm. If you've ever seen the TV show Comic Book Man, it takes place at Kevin Smith's comic book shop in New Jersey called Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash. And that's kind of where they got the name from. So it seems like that they were done filming there. They're tearing down the set. Uh, it looks like they only filmed one day in that location. I'm sure they're going to be going around to other various locations around New Orleans until they move on to wherever they're going. But uh, it was pretty cool to see Brody's secret stash uh, in our own local mall here. That was awesome. Well, I'll tell you, it's sad to see that mall in the state that it's in, that it's probably going to go away, I don't know, in the next few years. I, I don't see it lasting a whole lot longer. It's a shame. I used to go, go there all the time as a kid, but what are you going to do, man? You know, I, I did support a business. I, uh, I got some cookies from the Great American Cookie Company. I can't go to a mall and uh, not <laughs> get the cookies. And uh, it was really awesome seeing Brody's Secret Stash in there, man. I just, that blows my mind. It really does. I, I grew up watching those movies. All of Kevin Smith's movies, I mean, it's awesome. And uh, the fact that he's shooting it, at least part of it here, uh, is pretty amazing. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little lanyard from this hoot at. I got my cookies. Go past a good time. <laughs>